hello, I'm Harriet Kelsall from Harriet Kelsall Jewellery Design and I'm just going to show you one of the products that I designed um, which is our little bauble decoration and um, I wanted to sort of have a little chat through how to use it um, with you. Now this one we've aimed at it mainly being a decoration to start with so you could use it on your Christmas tree or you could, you could put them up for Easter or birthdays or whatever you want to do. And then the idea is that you can carefully open up the bauble, making sure you don't, don't break it because it's quite good to reuse it. And inside you will find two little gift bags. And the idea is that you, you can put the completed jewellery in these, in these bags afterwards. Now, obviously we've aimed this kit at children, but I just wanted to point out it's not actually a toy. It is a craft activity that's intended for educational purposes for over threes because of the small parts. So um, do sit with your child whilst they're doing this and make sure everything's safe. Now, what you'll find in these bags, we've got various coloured ones, but we're using here the red and the gold, which is quite a Christmassy colour combination. And... You can see that what we've got here is one little spool of thread. There should be quite enough thread to do to do both bracelets in there, and some nice beads. Now, obviously, you can keep them colour separate, or you can encourage your child to mix them about. You know, whatever they want to do. And I tend to find that, particularly when I'm working with children, it's a really good idea to have a piece of fabric on a tray. I've got a piece of felt on a little tray here, or you could use a tea towel on a on an ordinary tray, and it just means that you can actually make sure the beads don't roll about. And it's a good idea to encourage your kids to really think about the design and lay it out how they want it to be before they start so that they can, they can enjoy the part of the process that is actually the design of the, of the bracelet. Um, and that's really the difference between just beading without much thought and actually planning it beforehand. Uh, when you've uh, finished, there's another clip which will show you how to knot this thread. To open this up, um, the best way is to just snip the little piece of sellotape off carefully and then you'll find you've got lots of thread and, the, and, the, and they can just um, thread this up. Then what you, what you can do is um, a little tip whilst they're threading, when you, when you cut off the length of thread for them, is to put a little bit of sellotape around the end of it so that they don't actually drop drop the end and all of the beads fall off so that's a good way of, of keeping the beads on for them and also the other tip would be to use a good long length of elastic for each bracelet so that you've got plenty of end for them to to use for the knotting and then the other thing I wanted to suggest obviously when they finish they can put them in their little bags and give them to granny <laughs> obviously again the the, the the jewelry that they make with the kits won't be a toy, it's more a fashion accessory, so important to not give these to under threes as presents just in case the knot comes apart and there are small parts. Um, but also this is a great little thing and you can you can reuse it again, it's good to, to reuse or recycle and, um, and we've used these before, we put little sweets in them and then hung them on the Christmas tree or little Easter eggs at Easter and that's something that, um, that can go on and on. So I hope you enjoy your kit and have fun with it.